Hello everyone. I think we are live. I'm going to double check that. If you can tell me if you can hear me, see me, that would be awesome. I was just looking at what we did in the past few weeks and really it's like a month I've been concentrating on designer series paper and I think I'm going to keep the trend going on for a little bit there just because that I like to do um, the designer series paper share every time we get a new catalog but then I keep on hearing oh it's so pretty I don't want to cut it or I don't know what to do with it so I want to give you plenty of ideas to use that see and hear you awesome that's the way I like it I don't know why this is not popping here could be that's right hmm don't know why we'll wait and see okay so hello everyone thank you all of you that share with your friends say come on in come join the fun um i was debating uh, you know what designer series paper to use well last week was that beautiful uh, snowflake paper so that a lot of the time when we think of snowflake we think of um what you may call it we think of um christmas well, let me just say that snowflake, it's not just Christmas, right? So it can be many things, and especially like, thank you snow much, right? I like that. And then the week before that, it was the box of Ollie's. So again, that was more in the Christmas theme. So tonight I decided to go in the annual catalog and we're gonna be using the texture sheet. I'm gonna do two cards. I, I'm going to do one more masculine and one more feminine. But it's um, with one piece of cardstock, I can do two. So that's why I decide to do two. So let me flip you down. It's exactly 7.01. Um, I like to uh, start on time, right? So um, let me push that there. And let's get started. I I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. It's all here. I did something similar uh, to what I'm thinking I'm doing, but who knows? So let's hope for the best, okay? So let me flip that down. So this is a true create on the fly. It's funny because I just put, you know, the snippet number. I think this is number 60, create on the fly. And then I was like, hmm, okay, I'm going to use design a serial paper, but I didn't have no food till about 5 o'clock. I decided, okay. Okay, so I get my paper trimmer here, and um, I got a piece. This is soft succulent, and I put the product that I think I'm going to use. It's in the description below, okay? So we're going to be on the long way. So remember last week, and by the way, the winner of last week is Jean Barra Clock. C V A R A C L O U G H. So Jean, go at FrenchyStamps.com. Right at the top, you got um, contact me. Uh, contact me. Click on that. Send me an email where for your mailing address. Okay, and I'm gonna send that your way. So this year, last week was exactly eleven long by a four and a quarter and then we trim it and the part that we trim became this well tonight I'm gonna stay in the same uh, kind of tips uh, I mean kind of fold but it's gonna be different it's still gonna be a, on the long way okay after I was done I wanted to try somebody had said Bermuda Bay or Coastal and I did it and um, now I cannot remember, was it Coastal or Bermuda? I think this was uh, Coastal and Island Ether. And I'm going to be honest, I really, really like the Balmy Blue better. See, this was too greenish for me. But it's still pretty, but here. So that's the one we did last week. 
And the week before, well, one get claimed, this one didn't get claimed. This one was Mary Elrod, E-L-R-O-D. So if you're here, you still have time to claim it, okay? Still on my desk. So that was another one with designer series paper. So tonight, the designer series paper, we are using the Tereshi, and that it's in the annual catalog, okay? That's like a four season paper. And the stamp set that match with that, you get the seashell, you get the snowflake, you get the flower. It's really a four season paper, I would guess. And very, I would say very vintage also. And I'm one that really like that. Tonight I plan to use this one for more the masculine and this one for more the feminine, okay? And so let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, so now we're gonna score this at um, 11 at the top, so the long way at the top. We're gonna score this at five and a half. I'm scoring all at once, so um, we can just go and cut it after. Okay, so score there, and really though, I'm gonna go here at four and a quarter, I'm going to put them together, okay? And then I'm going to cut this at, I'm going to go one and a quarter. Wait a minute, let me count. One and a quarter, one and a quarter make 250. So two and a half, yeah, two and a half and five, I think that's, I'm afraid when it's not enough. Okay, I'm going at one and a quarter. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're trying that at one and a quarter. So let me make sure. Okay, one and a quarter. Remember, we're doing two cards, so I put both together. Save some time. One and a quarter. Now, we're going to push that at three. Three inch now. Boy, that is big. Okay, three inch. I could have a lot more. Okay, that's what it is. Here and here. Now, we're going to fold this. I bet some of you already know where I'm going with that. Hey, I see somebody from Casper, Wyoming. That is where my sweet daughter lives. Okay, so now we got that. We need, uh, you know what? We need some white to put in there. One minute. I need to I always keep some free cut. You know what? I'm almost out of them, though. Okay, so the white inside, because that's going to help me big time. It's um, four by five and a quarter, okay? Four by five and a quarter. And the reason why I want to put that, it's going to help me see where I'm going with this, okay? That's why I want to put that. Usually I would stamp my sheet first, but tonight I don't even know what I'm going to stamp in, So, but I want to have my guide. <coughs> and right here. Okay. Now we're going to take this piece here. Uh, I think if I would do it again, I would put one and a half. So it's, I would have more at the top, more at the bottom. Okay. We went one and a quarter. And I thought I almost went at one. So now you see where I'm going with that, right? So this is going to come here. And this is going to come here. So you see it's all a one half, whatever, half a sheet. And we get our card front that usually, you know, this would be our card front. It's just the way we cut it. So now we're going to decorate that. So we're going to cut. Uh, let me try one. I don't know if I want to have another layer. I don't think so. So let me cut one at four inch. by one. 
Yeah, I don't think I need another layer. Okay, and I'm gonna do that here also. Well, I need this to four by one. Let me move this here so you can see. Okay, four. So again, these, what I'm sharing with you all, it's ways to, uh, well, different fold, and not only different fold, but what ways to use that designer series paper that is just collecting dust in your room. Okay, I already got one of the other ones, so now this one, because we're making two cards, so that means next week, we're gonna have two winners. So this is one by four, one by four. Now, I don't even know what, what that is. I know it's four and a quarter by three. Four and a quarter by three, so we're gonna do four by two and three quarter. Four, so it's already at four, and we're gonna go at two and three quarter. This is very simple so far. I like it. I like it, I like it, I love it. Okay, so I'm missing one. Oh, here it is. So I want it this way and then this way. I think so. Okay, let's build one and then we will build the other one. I think that's gonna be better. And I'm gonna tell you why I decided to put this print here. I wanted more of this, but the stripe with this, well, that would be like plain though. Okay, decision, 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 you know? That's why we don't want to give choices because then we have to make decisions. Yeah, I'm still going to use it this way. Okay, so now we're going to glue that. Before I'm going to glue that, reinforce this that it stay good. So we're going to put this here. Voila. And then the one at the top. Put that right here, and then, so, uh, you know, it's almost the end of the month, right? This weekend, uh, oops, um, Monday, it's the last day of the month. Don't miss out. If you want to join my team, you're getting more products. So for $99, you get to choose $155 of your choice and it's gonna to ship to you for free. So keep that in mind, that sweet deal and Monday. Okay, now that you see I'm putting that right at the edge here, we get that there. So now I'm gonna put a strip of tape at the top and one at the bottom, nothing on the side, nothing in the center. Because if you put some on the side and in the center, uh, you're gonna have a card that don't open, okay? So now, Let me do, okay, I wanna make sure this is straight. Okay, that look about right to me. If it's not, it's good enough for me, okay? Oops, make sure you're not moving that. Boom, et voila. And now, see? So you get a different fold, but you still just use half a sheet. Is that cool? It's just like last week. This was the same thing. This part here was this. And we just score it. So if you missed that last week, you can, and you can use that with different paper. Now we're gonna finish this one. What I got for the masculine, I, um, is all that. We're going to stamp the happy birthday to a classic. <clears throat> and I got scrappy paper here. You can see that. Oh, I didn't bring a clear block. 
I don't know what I was thinking I would stamp with. You know what? I did that sometime camping, so I'm going to use, you know, plastic container or you can make it work. And I am using Evening Evergreen. So I think next week I'm going to do another one of the a fold, a simple fold with half a sheet like tonight. It can be maybe on the other direction, but again with on your cereal paper. So that's going to be like a full month. Yes, Gwyneth, you're snoring you know, or you're dreaming. I mean, so that way uh, we get a full variation. Okay, now we're going to cut this. And you know what? It, it's not right, my friend. So let me, you know what? Can I cut here? Just because, usually I like to punch after. One minute. You know what? It's just a piece of paper. Oh, my guano, you're snoring. I mean, it's dreaming. Okay, let's go back here. I need to go a little bit higher so I can center this. Here we go. And now I'm thinking, was it go, should go on the other side, maybe? Okay. And I brought evening evergreen okay now we're going to do some operation here okay we're going to have because you know i love a punch absolutely love a punch i know some dyes you get all those layers but sometimes i don't know i'm just a punch girl so this one i'm going to keep it this way this one here we're going to cut not the first loop the second loop or the first on the right whatever we're going to cut that right here, flip this, and cut that right there. And then we're going to cut the bottom and then the top. Here we go. So now we get that trim. Now we're going to take this. And put it right here. And this way. So now we got a little something, something different layers, right? Now we're going to take this. Put that right there. Now I'm going to use dimensional. And you know I'm going to make sure I'm just going to put that right in the center here. Okay, and I brought some blinks. Where are my blinks? Right here. I think this is going to work. So I'm using the Elegant uh, Face It Jam. Get two small ones like this. Oh, come here, dear little one. Here we go. Oh, that's cute. It's the perfect size. Another thing that I use, it's like those sequins with the backing in the back. Is that fun? Can you see those light, head light? Okay, so inside, hmm, you know what? Let's do something here. We get this, we're gonna cut two more strips of one inch. It's all about using that designer series paper. Well, let's use it, right? So let's cut one in one. And we're gonna open this and then, okay, do I want this inside or I want this? Uh, Okay, I'm gonna put the flannel here. So we're gonna put that right 
here. Like this, I want to make sure it's covered. Yes, because it's very tricky, this part, just because if I would have <clears throat> mount this a little bit higher, well, then you would see it. So this one I want to see too before I press it. We're good. Because, you know, I, I get a quarter around, so, but we're good. So now when you open this, you get at least the match in. So when you're right on this, when you send that to somebody and you're right, I would say keep a finger on each end because then it would see through. It would be okay though, but see you can write all in the center here and see it stand up, oh, make sure it's reinforced good. It stand up very nice, just like a regular one. So that is a perfect way to use the designer series for paper. And also you don't have to measure many things. It looks like you get a lot to measure, but you really, it's just half a sheet of cardstock. So now I'm gonna take this, just up on this, and then put that right there, et voila. Yeah, you can use any designer series paper, absolutely. That's my goal for you all to use your designer series paper. It's just the très chic, I really like it. The main reason it's, I absolutely love the, I'm gonna put that at the back. I love um, like vintage and this paper, it's very vintage, yes. So now we're gonna do, this is the same pack of paper, just a different print. We're gonna do more what I call more the mass, the feminine, okay? So this one, we're gonna put flowers to it. I'm gonna put that right here. And again, we're gonna do that for the inside too, mine as well, right? So let's go ahead and cut it one inch and one inch. Voila, it's all about using that paper. So we're gonna use it. Okay, so I want this side though. So I'm gonna put that right here. Here we go. And then this one. Et voila. Okay, now let's build this one here. So now we're gonna put this one here. See how pretty those flowers are. It's so gorgeous, this paper. It's very, I mean, all of the prints, it's very, Again, that's vintage, if you like vintage. Okay, this one I got, where's my scrappy paper? That's the one here. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, Sending You Smile for every moment of your special day. Remember, I said I didn't have, was it last week, the week before? I didn't have uh, something like for birthday inside. Well, Miss Ollie, find this set for me. It's in the mini catalog. Again, you get all what I'm using at the bottom of this in the description. I get all those details there, what I'm using. So far, I kept with what I had gathered, so that's pretty good. Okay, now where is that punch? So, um, This would be tight, so I'm gonna put it this way, okay? So I have to oh, put it, you know what? This is, here's another piece. Okay, uh, which way did I say I have to do it? So if I go this way, yeah, it's gonna go this way, okay. Okay, again, I'm sticking with the green. Et voila. And let's see. Yes. Okay, we're going to punch that out. Now we will 
Okay, let me clean that so I can have a space to move here. Because right now, you know what? It's just two stamp set that I got, but you would swear that I don't know what the heck I did to this disc, but I feel like a bomb went through. Oh, but that's not it. That's this one. But it don't take much to make a mess in my room. Absolutely not. But you know what? It's all a fun mess, right? See, that I bought this set for this thing pretty much. That's the only one that I use so far. Well, I just got it. Though. Really, seriously, I just got it this week, last week. Okay, let me uh, get a um, sip of water here. And yeah, it is water, my friend. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead, and this one, we're going to cut the top. Well, yeah, that's what we've done with the other one. Okay, right here. I won't cut the, it's going to be too much if I cut the side. So it's just going to be top and bottom. So it's going to be a different look. And this one, I got pink. Uh, it's a uh, petal pink. Petal pink. Okay. So we're going to put that right here. So you see, even with this sponge, it's pretty cool. You can have different shape. So, oops. So it's just the top and the bottom more, okay? Now we're going to take, oh, let's put this together first. Okay, we're going to take this, put that right there at the bottom. And this is very cockeyed. Let me see if I can move that a bit. Okay, now again, we're going to do, remember, top and the bottom to put the adhesive. If not, your car wouldn't open. Did I say car? Oh, my gosh, the card wouldn't open. Yes, it's absolutely a very, very beautiful paper. So the old thing, I'm going to show you the, the other print in a minute. Okay, make sure that stays straight. We're going to see that's about right. Let's smack that right here. Okay. This one here, we're on the left there. Here we go. Et voila. See, it's the same. Is that fun? Okay. Now, I'm going to put this one more on the side. See, I'm going to line up right at the side here. You're going to say, why? To do something different. And I got something else in mind. I got a flower and leaf punch there. So let's put that right here. I'm going to line that up there. It gives a very different dimensional. Now we're going to do those flowers here. This and this. And then we got that green. So we're going to do... And, I mean, if you don't have the punch, you can use a die. But you know me, I go for a punch at all times. So now I'm just going to curve this here. And let me do a, okay, pedal paint. I need a... Dauber, one second. That I didn't add that ink or I didn't add the Dauber neater. When I do those flowers, I like to um, add a little bit of ink at the tip. It just give a little bit of depth, dimension to the flowers. 
we get a lot of people from Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, all in that beautiful um, west or north. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to glue that together. You know, I cannot do a card without glue dots, right? So let's bring a glue dots here. And pop that right there. I'm going to use a glue dot. This is all bits and pieces left over from, um, oh, you know what? I don't have to go with that right now. From um, paper pumpkin. Here we go. So squish that a little bit there. And we're going to put that right here at the corner. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Okay, for the leaves, I like to put my glue dot in the front. Oh, thank you, Mary. And then I'm going to put leaf right there. So then you see I press it so it go in the back of the flower so it's raised up. You don't need another dimensional. You just put your glue dots in the front and then oh, let me put that one a little bit more back here we go voila now we get those blinks here let's not forget those bling and we're going to use mm, the bigger one here if I would have three, I would put three in the center there, but I, oh, you know what? One sec, one sec. Maybe this is gonna do the trick. One, two, and three, perfect. And at the top, we're gonna do a little one here. A little one there. No. Nope. You know, I go with the big one. We're just going to put one at the top and the bottom here. How cute is that? See this? Very, and again, oops, it's stand right there. So that is one. Oh, you know what? Uh, we're missing, okay. So envelope, somebody was asking, oh, that's not wide enough. One minute, we're gonna do one. I think I get more. Somebody was asking if that was friendly. I don't know where I saw that. I need like five and a half. One minute, do I have a strip of five and a half? I got this, but it's not enough. Mm -mm -mm. One minute, one minute, one minute. Maybe I got another piece here. Oh, I got another piece here. Perfect, okay. So yes, this is very friendly to mail, okay? Absolutely, it is friendly to mail. What I like to do with uh, that, I like to use my Tombow glue for this part and go right at the edge, right at the edge. And the reason why you want to go right at the edge, because this is going to go in the mail and it's going to have you know, it's going to go in the machine and so on. Now, I like to fold this down. Now, I'm going to, I want this in the paper. So, you would cut, oops, dang it. You would cut your paper at a five and three quarter, and the width, I'm not sure. I'm going to tell you in a second. Oh, stupid mosquitoes. Did you see that? Okay, now let's press that here. So really, this was a good size to do. 
So you would do, um, you want a little bit longer. So, so two and a quarter by five and three quarter. So two and one quarter by five and a quarter. And then you're gonna take your scissors and just follow the back of this. And you know, at two and a quarter, you won't have much. You're just gonna have a little bit of trim to do. So that way, see, you can use that paper. I want you to use the paper because soon I'm gonna promote a new uh, design your series paper share. See this one? I should have went flat, but that's okay. I can go and add that sliver off there. Make sure you don't put in the envelope there. No, I didn't, good. <laughs> Et voila. So the best thing is tap it down. But see the envelope, now it matched this. See how pretty that is? I think that's gorgeous. So now we got this, well I should show it this way, right? And then we got this one. I got one too many thing here, one minute. Let me have some space, because I want to share with you the paper also. One second there, let me. I'm not going nowhere, are you guys busy? I'm not busy, let me, here we go. Remove a few things, I got space here. So you guys help me clean at the same time. You didn't know that, right? Okay. Now I got one right there. And then here's the other one. So we got more feminine, more masculine. Now let me share with you that beautiful paper there. So this is the one that we use. See? And I think I got still a bit of everything in there. I got it here, so we're going to see. So this one is the one that we use also. So that was with the flower, and this one was for the masculine. So that's part of it. This, is an, this one reminds me of patina look a bit. And then this one, it's more like the fall, okay? So see? You get the leaves in this one. I told you it was a four season, right? Uh, I thought this one had snowflake. No, so this one got flowers. This one got leaves. This one here got little flowers. It's kind of a fall, so it's kind of a rustic, right? And then this one got the snowflake, I think. Yes, is that gorgeous? Oh, my, my. I love it. So now you get the snowflake in here. So you get really every season. And this, I think it's the, with the beach. Yes. Et voila. See all those seashells. So that's the paper. It is, and, and it depends. Some of you would like to have use of happiness instead of this, you know, those bright flowers, or maybe you like the in color. Whatever it is, we all get different tastes, what, right? It would be boring if we like all the same thing. But this is very vintage, I would say. And um, I like it. Give me some vintage. I love it. And then the color that goes with, it's Evening Evergreen, Mango Melody, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Soft Succulent, Soft Suede, and the Gold Foil. So now you have it. So next week, so do you guys like it when I do, um, you know, ways to like fun fold and design a sear paper? And it's the same thing when I do, um, let me talk to you face to face, it's better sometimes. When I do my mystery stamping, you know, strips and bits and piece and that, I like doing that. So then it gives you plenty of ideas to use that design your series paper. And also if, you're not a fan of designer series paper, you can do the same thing with color cardstock or you can use white, cream, whatever color you want. But another thing you can do with that, if you want to add a little bit of texture and more like pop, you can emboss your color cardstock. That would be another way that you can do it. So maybe next week, 
I'm gonna do one with designer series paper. It's gonna be another fold, something uh, like this. It's gonna be different. So that was the 11 by four and a quarter. This was the 11 by four and a quarter. What was the other one? This was 12, 12 by, yeah, right? Let me measure. Yeah, that was 12 by five and a half because we used the full sheet of designer series paper. So I'm gonna do another kind of fun fold like that. So that's about it. Any qu I'm looking if you guys get question. I don't think so. So thank you so much for joining me. And again, if you would like to join my team, I would love to have you. It's always a great time to join. But right now for October 2022, you get uh, $78 of extra free product, meaning that you pay $99, but you get $155 of your choice that you choose. Plus you get a paper pumpkin, $22 uh, value. That's worth some of the $78 and you pay 99. So again, for 99 free shipping, you just pay the tax and you choose $155 of product. No, you don't have to sell. You can join for the discount. It's no string attached, my friend. That is it. Till next time, happy stamping. See you next week.